Well, for those of you who've been watching the live stream on newsok.com, welcome back to the Oklahoman's Video Studio. I'm Dave Morris. At this point, I'm going to shift gears from puppies and talk about another fun segment, though. The Allied Arts Artini Party is this weekend, and it's a great time. It's Friday, April 1st at the Farmer's Market. Kristen Bromley from Allied Arts yes. joins us, and a couple artists here, Tracy and Rick Bewley, who are not far away from us. They're a gallery Art Fusion Studio at 12th and Western. Everybody, welcome. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Kristen, give us the overview of Friday night's event. Yeah, so Friday is our teeny, and this is our 13th annual party, so it's been around for a little while. Like you said, it's at the farmer's market. It's from 7 to 11. Um, tickets are $75, and they have to be purchased in advance, and space is limited. So, so no tickets at the door. If you no show tickets up, if at you the walk door. up the steps, mm, you're not going to get in. Not getting in without a ticket. So um, they're going fast. So if people want to come, they really need to try to get them as soon as possible. Um, you can go to alliedartini.com to buy those tickets. Again, $75. And this year's theme is arcade. So as you can see from the logos behind, it's all retro arcade themed. Um, there are going to be retro arcade games that people can play for free. So that'll be really fun. There's going to be a lot of fun decor. Um, but one of the most exciting things, I think, is that we have our largest silent auction ever. So we have more art than we've ever had before. And so these are some of the pieces. Um, I'm sure Rick and Tracy will talk about it. But we have 106 pieces wow. of local art from local artists that are going to be on sale at this event. So all of those proceeds are going back to support the local arts community. So we're really excited about that element for sure. Tracy, Rick, have you guys participated in Artini before? This is times. yeah. This is, this is our seventh or eighth year. We haven't been in cool. since the beginning, but we have been in since it used to be at a much smaller venue, and it and we've just watched it grow and grow where, where, over here. Where, where, where was this at before Farmers Market? The Waterford. Oh, oh was it was really? yes. before my time. Okay. Yes. It was our first time. It seems like I only remember it being at the mm -hmm. Farmers Market. Okay, it was at the Waterford, and it was smaller, and and it got really really crowded. And and yeah. the first time we participated, it was. You know, a typical, hey, you want to donate a piece of art? Yeah, okay, we'll donate and we'll show up. And then we got there and it was this huge event. We were not prepared for what a neat, fun, well, you know, participated event it was. Yeah. Well, what are we looking at here? What sort of style of uh, artwork are we looking at here? We're primarily fused glass artists, which is the process of cutting and assembling glass and melting it in a kiln. Um, we're also 3D artists, mixed media. We like to mix other materials with our glass just to add some interest to it. We do functional things, bowls and plates, jewelry, sculptures, installations, uh, anything anybody wants to see some glass stuck on, we can, we can handle it. Well, I was going to ask you guys, so if I wanted something done specifically for a certain, whether it's a van or just for my house, you guys could take that concept and run with it. You bet. We've actually got a full door piece that we're working on for an individual right now. It's the full glass piece to fill in a full doorway. So, wow, very nice. I think that looks fantastic. You have a great space over there, and that's kind of an emerging area, that little pocket over there at 12th and Western. It's, it's very neat. You know, we bought before there was Midtown and before there was Plaza District, right. and people thought we were crazy. And, <laughs> You know, and it's, it was, it's sketchy, but not, not that scary, and uh, it's been really fun seeing all the development around us. Yeah. Well, and we were talking before we got started here, our friend Bo Stevenson has opened up a place right next to you at a little restaurant bar there, uh, Fat Pig? Fat, fat Dog. Fat Dog. <laughs> Called it Fat Pig early. Fat Dog is right there. Yes. So it's a growing area of little artists uh, and creative types, uh, but it's also a very... Uh, Fun little pocket to walk into because you guys have done a nice job with the with the space. Well, thank you. We again, you know, we felt like we were lucky finding the space that we did, and you know, when everybody else thought we were crazy, you know, it's an old building and uh, it's ended up having a lot of a lot of character and and kind of a destination place. Our favorite thing is people show up with their out of town guests to show them our space. Look, you know, we we have some cool here in Oklahoma, and that's always a big compliment. You know, uh, Mother's Day and Father's Day uh, are both coming up. Great gift ideas, right? Great of gift course. ideas. We <laughs> it, t typically, I, I'd say over half of our, you know, off-the-shelf sales are somebody buying it as a gift for somebody else. Well, Kristen, this is just an example of the artists mm -hmm. who participate with you guys. Yep. yep. We have, I mean, every like we have great glass pieces here. We're going to have paintings, photography. We have metal sculpture. I mean every type of art represented. We have tapestry work, um, the list goes on and on. So it'll be really great. And besides the art piece, which is obviously a huge focus of the event, we have 12 local restaurants that are gonna be coming, everything from Bolero to Gaiutas to Guernsey Park. They all are going to have a completely decked out area with food, 
martini tastings, um, all related to the theme. So people can come, try lots of different local food, local drinks, all with Prairie Wolf Vodka, um, which is a local vodka, and buy some art, buy some cool raffle tickets, maybe win some Dave Matthews tickets. Nice. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun things going on. So. I was talking with my friend Amy from uh, Skirvin Hilton. She'll be with the uh, Park Avenue Grill, I yep. believe, on this. Yep. Uh, she was showing me some pictures of what they are doing with not to give any spoiler alerts away, but it's very <laughs> arcade themed. Yes. Uh, not just in artwork wise, but the whole booth. Absolutely. Yeah, that's some of the most fun parts. I've gotten little sneak peeks on what some of the restaurants are doing and just the creativity that they put into the drinks and the food just to tie it all in. It's fun. It's going to be a really fun party. I think there's some pride on the line too. There <laughs> is. There always is. Yes. Yeah, the bartenders, the restaurant crew, they're like, okay, Absolutely. there's some bragging rights. To go well, and there's us. there's awards for all of the restaurants. So we have judges, local celebrity judges that go around and vote on best food, best costumes, but also there's a People Choice Award. So everyone who comes can go around, taste everything, and then make their vote for who they think should win the best artini. Artini. And as a side note on the awards. Tracy and I both work for MTM Recognition, and Tracy has designed the awards for our team yes. the last five years, mm -hmm. and they always include a piece of our fused glass as well, yep. which is really fun. So it's Absolutely. a very nice looking award. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Tracy and Rick, um, <laughs> what's coming up for you guys? Where can we find you guys in upcoming? It's, it seems like it's spring, it's people get out, there's a lot of festivals. It is. We've got um, Festival of the Arts coming up. We'll be participating in that for our, our third year. Uh, it should be fun with it moving back in front of the Civic Center. And then always great time, the Paseo Festival Memorial Weekend, which this will be our 11th or 12th year yeah. of participating in that. Yeah. All right, fantastic. Tracy and Rick Bewley, go see them at 12th and Western, the Art Fusion Studio. Great to meet you guys. Thank right. you. Thank you. I'm sure I've met you guys before when I've been in your place. Of course. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so thanks for coming in and beautiful artwork. Mm -hmm. uh, Kristen, what else do we need to know about this weekend? Oh, I think that's it. Just get your tickets before they run out. There's going to be DJ, awesome art, lots of good local food, drinks, arcade games, dancing, photo booths. It's going to be a lot of fun, so it don't miss it. Friday, April 1st. Uh, okay. Tickets can be found at alliedartini.com, April 1st, as we mentioned, at the Farmer's Market. Everybody, thanks so much for coming in. Thank much you. appreciated. Have Thank fun you. this weekend. Okay.